<sighs> hmm? Pocket tissues are free, so I thought it'd be a good idea, but... Hmm, it needs more taste. My name is Shoma. I'm a fourth grader. I come from a poor family, so I'm always looking for food that doesn't cost a lot of money. It doesn't have taste, so I have to end up using mayonnaise, which costs money. One, two, one, two. This is a manual electric radio. It's essentially a disaster prevention item, but in our house, it's a valuable entertainment item that doesn't cost money. There are many edible wildflowers in the world. Oh, here's some horsetail. You can make this into a delicious stew. I see. Time to find some wildflowers. With the little money I'd saved up, I took a bus to the mountains, but... Whoa! Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. The ladies here were soft, so I'm fine. What? Are you calling us fat? What's up with this kid? So rude. Where did you get your education from? What? I didn't mean it like that. The ladies became very angry at my casual remark. He's such a skinny kid. What a shame. Urgh. The sisters spouted off whatever they could. What am I going to get there? Phew, I'm finally free. There must be some edible wildflowers growing here. Kid, are you lost? No, I'm here to gather wildflowers. Oh, all by yourself? That's dangerous. I'll give you some of mine instead, so uh, take this and go on home. Now that I think about it, I had no knowledge of the mountains and wildflowers. I gave up picking and went straight home with the wildflowers he gave me. Thanks, old man! And even if I did, it wasn't a good idea because it would cost money for transportation. I'm home. Pig brother, welcome back! Hey, make paper airplanes for me like last time! This is my sister, Yuna. She's in third grade. We get along well and I like to play games that don't cost money. Why? Yay, it flew, it flew! These papers with difficult kanji characters come to my house often. Playing with these is free, so it's a good deal. This is the worst. Seriously, what's wrong with wearing makeup to school? I hate school dress codes. Ugh, I can't get over it. Isn't there anything we can do to blow off steam? Hey, isn't the kid who was trying to pick a fight with us earlier? How convenient. It's been a while, kid. Oh, you guys were on the bus last time. On the way home, I ran into those scary ladies again. Good boy, you remembered. We were pretty shocked by what you said to us back then. So can you listen to us for a second? If it's nothing scary. Then I have 100 water balloons here. Let's go to the park and inflate them all. Oh, uh, okay. I wonder what they're going to do. I hope they're not going to use me as a target with these. Um, I'm done. That was quick. Okay, touch the water balloons and remember how soft it is. Uh, okay. What are they about to do? If you touch them enough, touch our bellies now. Wh what See? We're not fat at all, are we? Uh, how do the water balloons feel when you touch them? It was soft. Touch our stomachs again. How is it? Is it soft? No, it's not. One more time. Um, the water balloons are soft, but your bellies aren't soft. I had to repeat the same thing over and over again. Yes, that's it! Ah, <sighs> that was satisfying. Let's go. Scary, but I'm glad I didn't get hit. One weekend. Brother, look at this painting! Yuna, you really like painting, don't you? Hmm? Two kids in an art museum? Are they lost? My name is Nico. I'm Moriboshi Sans Class A maid. My hobby is these days to visit museums. Hey, you two come here by yourselves? Where are your parents? Um, elementary students can get in for free, so we come here from time to time. I see. So you live in this neighborhood. I'm glad you aren't lost. Which one do you like? I like the rush decks in this one. Um, I... I was surprised to hear that from an elementary school student. This girl must have some artistic talent. <laughs> uh, it was fun talking to these kids, so I decided to treat them to dinner as a thank you. Have as much as you'd like. Yay! Thank you. The kids were so hungry, they gobbled up all the food. Hey, look. Isn't that a kid from the bus? You're right. Wait, I think that's Nico next to them. More Boshi-san's maid. What? How do you know? Because I'm more Boshi-san's biggest fan. I know all of his famous maids. She's an A-class maid. 
but she's always with Moroboshi's son, which makes her special. Huh? But why is she with that boy? He's not just any boy to have dinner with Moroboshi san's maid. The, the next, next day. Ah, I got scolded again. It's so annoying. So tired of adults being controlling. Ah, it's so upsetting. Oh, over there. It's that kid from the bus. Perfect. Er, these ladies again. Hmm, can I help you? What should we do today? Oh yeah, last time you touched your stomachs. It's our turn to check your body now. What? But you made me do that. Isn't it unfair how you touched us all you want, but you don't let us check? You look skinny, but you're eating all the delicious food you want, aren't you? Come on, hurry up. But, but it's embarrassing. At first, it was just a joke. But what we saw was shocking. What? This is... No way. This isn't good. What was that? Should we do something? I don't know. I've seen this on the news, but this is the first time I've seen it up close. Maybe we're better off than I thought. But what can we even do? That's true. It has nothing to do with us. Let's just pretend we didn't see and go to a movie to cheer ourselves up. Oh, good idea. And so we headed to the movie theater. It was a movie about a cool female spy who exposes a bunch of bad guys. Wait! You don't have to go out there and risk your life. One day, the authorities will find out and save him. Can you guarantee that 100%? If I didn't go now, he might lose his life without anyone noticing. If that happens, I won't be able to forgive myself and regret it until the day I die. I don't want that. Ah, that was good. Yeah, it was awesome. Err. Err. Shouldn't we do something? We're high school kids who get scolded all the time. Society might consider us as delinquents. But we've been rebels because we don't agree with what the adults say. But... I didn't think we ever took a wrong turn. Hey, let's go! Yeah, we don't want regrets either. I got a lot of good shopping done. Hmm? There are some students who are clearly suspicious. What are they doing? What should we do? Should we just go in? But what if their parents show up? Oh, you must be Nico-san, Moroboshi-san's maid. You're just in time. For some reason, the students knew about me. What? what? How do you know my name? That's not the question now. Actually... Apparently, the kids we met at the art museum the other day live in this house. And for whatever reason, they're saying they need to save them. That's what happened. Oh my god! We have to help them as soon as possible! But how? I thought about telling Moroboshi-san, but relying on Moroboshi-san for everything. As I was thinking that... Ah, uh, brother, you're covered in scars again! I, I knew it. it! Oh no, we have to hurry! Wait! The students took off running. I followed a few steps behind. Gah! What's going on? Uh, are you okay? Gah! Huh? The ladies in Nikosan. Why are you here? Look at those bruises. How awful! Poor thing. We'll get you out of here in no time. Now we need to get out of here and find some place that will protect you. Wow! Everyone's surprised at the makeup I did. <laughs> what? what? To everyone's surprise, Shoma's bruises were the result of a realistic makeup job. What? Are, Are you serious? serious? I want to become a makeup artist in the future. I draw my brother to practice. I see. We thought it was. Does that mean the cuts and bruises on your body last time? She drew them on me before I went to school, and I didn't have time to clean them off. I completely forgot about it then. I'm sorry I surprised you. Just then, the kid's parents arrived. I apologize for my kids causing you trouble. No, we're sorry we barged in. No, no. It's a shabby house anyway. We both carry a lot of debt from our parents. It's true that we put these kids through a lot too. We were almost finished paying off that debt. And from now on, life was looking up. I like living frugally, so it's not too bad. You're so talented. Where do you get all your tools? I get them from samples and hand-me-downs from my friends. And you got this good? That's amazing! When you start getting allowance, use primers and personal colors for reference, and you'll get even better! Whoa! I'll study hard! I think those students will be great teachers for Yuna! <laughs> Since then, I take them out for dinner every now and then until their life becomes more stable! It's delicious! Thank you so much! I love talking to you, Nico! I'm glad to hear that! With the Yuna skills, I 
future can recommend her to more Boshi Sun's entertainment agency in the future. It's what I thought. And when I take them out to eat, I always. Question! What does more Boshi Sun wear when he sleeps? Or does he sleep naked? Ah! I feel like I'm gonna pass out just thinking about it! I will not comment on more Boshi Sun's personally. The students turn to the table and fire off a barrage of questions. If they ever become moral maids, they'll be a formidable rival. My name is Moroboshi. I'm the head of one of the world's most powerful conglomerates, Moroboshi Corporation. And my hobby is business. I also occasionally work as a scientist and doctor. My sister told me about this hot spring, and I wanted to come with you! I'm glad you invited me. I came to the hot springs today with my friend Keita. Hello! We're here as two! Mo Moroboshi-san? Welcome! Here are your locker keys and towels. Thank you! Thanks. Uh, Moroboshi-san thanked me. Moroboshi-san, you're so handsome. I'll never forget it. Uh, Moroboshi-san looks so great. Mmm, so this is Mani Hot Springs. I've heard of it, but it's my first time here. It's pretty nice, right? Keita, make sure to wash yourself off before you get in. Ah, oh, it feels so good! This is the best! Ah, oh, they really put some thought into it to make it relaxing. It's wonderful. <laughs> All right. This place is apparently one of the 100 major affiliated bathhouses in the country, run by a successful owner. You're so knowledgeable, Moroboshi! Hmm, do you think I should try my hand at the hot spring business? Moroboshi, you're always full of curiosity! <laughs> Alright, let's wash each other's backs now. Is that Moroboshi-san? The head of the Moroboshi conglomerate? My name is Tatsuya. Coming to this hot spring is my daily routine. Ah, uh, milk after taking a bath is the best! I should have talked to Moroboshi-san a little bit since I met him. Hey, look at that guy. <laughs> He's so lame. Oh, uh, not again. <laughs> you look so poor. I wish he wouldn't come here because he brings down the image of this place. As much as I love this hot spring, there are always part-timers here who talk about me behind my back. Alright, Moroboshi-san might be done soon, so let's clean up around here. Oh, I wish he would ask me if I want to be his maid. Ah! <laughs> My eyes green! <laughs> uh, what's wrong with this brat? He spilled ice cream all over my feet! Hey! What are you doing? Apologize! How can an employee behave like that towards a child? <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> oh my god, he just made it worse! Apologizing isn't going to help! Go get your parents! <laughs> These people are so scary. <laughs> Seniors, uh, please use this. Huh? Are you okay? It's unfortunate you spilled your ice cream, but he brought you a new one. So have this. Uh, thanks, but I don't have any money. You bought it earlier, so I don't need the money. Let's sit down so you don't spill it next time. Yeah, thank you. You guys can clock out now. We don't have any more guests today. If you're gonna use the bath, make sure to clean it up afterwards. Yes. yes. Uh, I'm so tired. Hot springs after work is the best. It's so relaxing. Can't quit this job because the hot springs are free. Yelena! Thanks for cleaning all the bathtubs. Um, it's really late now. How about we all do it together? I think it'll get done faster. What? You're the youngest one, so you need to do it. Yeah, that's the rules of this place. But... Stop complaining and start cleaning. You'll never finish like that. Uh, okay. Moroboshi-san was such a treat for the eyes today. Yeah, I could stare at him all day. Compare that with the bum-looking guy? He came again. I can't stand him. He must be a real bum. Let's play a prank on him next time! Er, as a newcomer, I'm always getting used conveniently by these two. Ah, I'm so tired. It's so exhausting when I have the same shift as those two. It's tough, Mom. 
15 years ago. My mother raised me by herself. I don't really have many memories of her because she was always busy with work and didn't leave much time for me. Yuina, let's go to Manny Hot Springs today. Okay, yay! I'm sorry. I know you would rather go to the amusement parks and aquariums. I love Nanny Hot Springs. The bell feels good and I can read manga here. And I can spend time with you, Mom. And so it became a routine for me to go to Manny Hot Springs with my mom once a week. But my mom collapsed from overworking and passed away. Manny Hot Springs was a place of precious memories given to me by my mom. I'm gonna do my best here for you, Mom. Watch over me. One adult. Oh, welcome. You're early today. Yeah, I thought I'd come in before work today. I see. Oh, um... Hmm? Is something wrong? No, never mind. It's okay. I wanted to tell him that my seniors were up to something bad. But I didn't have the courage. I'm sorry. Ah, part-time work. I wish I could get paid without working. Ugh, look, that guy. He's right here. You're right. I have to see him from the morning? Huh, what a bummer. Can I have one vanilla ice cream, please? Thank you. He said vanilla ice cream. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> he took it without noticing it. <laughs> Hurry up and eat it. Huh? What? <coughs> what is this? <laughs> the inside's filled with wasabi. This is unacceptable. Um, this... Uh, I'm sorry, we're busy right now, so please come talk to us later. Ah, uh, I'm so busy. Um, I apologize for those two. Here, this is a new one. Oh, thank you. But why you? Those words made me want to tell him about myself. For me, Bunny Hot Springs is one of the few places I have memories with my mother who passed away. So I want other people to make good memories here as well. Hmm, I see. Thank you. Hey, you. It was going great. Why did you interrupt? That's right. You juniors just need to listen to your seniors. But... Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, manager! We were just teaching you, Lena, about the job. Uh... Ah, I see. You're lucky you're surrounded with kind seniors. Don't even think about telling the manager. Well, the manager likes this anyway, so he won't believe you. Uh, after what happened, I didn't think he'd come back anymore. But he came again. Ugh, that guy. He still comes back after that. I thought he wouldn't show up anymore. What kind of mentality is that? Oh, I have an idea. Give me your ear. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. One adult. I'm sorry, we are currently full and cannot let you in. Please come back another day. Huh? It's one hour before closing. There's no way. Ah, oh, I was just trying to be nice, but I'll tell you honestly. It's not a good look for a hot springs if people like you come in. Wh what? I never thought I'd be denied entry to a hot spring. So, please head back. Please don't come back again. <sighs> Oh, well... S sir Hey, just leave him alone. That's right! Can't you listen to your seniors? But... It's fine. Thanks. <sighs> this isn't good. This isn't going to work. Did you see that? <laughs> the look on his face when I said he can't come in. Yeah, <laughs> he was so frozen, it was hilarious! They kept insulting the customer! I tried to muster up the courage to speak up, but... Um, I don't think you should talk to the customers like that. He's a regular here, so I think it could affect our sales. Huh? So what? Don't talk back to your seniors. Yeah, just shut up and listen to your seniors. Otherwise, I'll tell the manager to not let you work here anymore. No. They're making me clean again. Huh? Ah, oh, it feels great. Hmm? Huh? Doesn't the water seem to be... draining? Is the plug out? Uh, hey, it's cold. What's going on? For some reason, the hot spring ran out of water. What's going on? Manager, manager, the hot spring is out of water! 
Wait, what? The bomb? Why are you here? Don't you realize we're close today? Get out! You have no right to be in this hot spring. That's why I cut off the water. Huh? How can you do that? What? You guys! What kind of language is that? This is the owner of Money Hot Springs! The, the owner? owner? <laughs> Thanks for kicking me out earlier. Oh, please! You should have told us earlier! I was just kidding earlier. <laughs> of course! If we had known you were the owner, we would have given you a lot of extra services. It doesn't matter who the customer is. Someone who gives the best service to every customer deserves to work here. That's right. Like you. What? Me? Your customer service has always been excellent. Please, continue to take care of Armani Hot Springs. And you guys... Thanks for your hard work until now. What? Until now? Does that mean... Simugi and Haruka were fired and left Manny Hot Springs. I heard they got a different part-time job after that, but... People found out about what they did at Manny Hot Springs, so apparently they're going through some pretty rigorous training. One adult! Thank you! Here's your key and bath towel! Thanks! Because of your hard work, I think the bad reputation caused by those two is starting to improve. No, I still have a long ways to go. I'm glad I hired you as a full-time employee after all. I look forward to seeing you in the future. I will do my best! See you! And so, I was hired full-time as a service manager for Manny Hot Springs. I will continue to do my best here in Manny Hot Springs. I have fond memories of my mom. Hey, that's the Monix watch. A really expensive one? I've never seen one before. Yeah, I have a $500 allowance every month, so I saved up. Ugh, I'm so jealous. My allowance is $10. Mine is $30, but it's nowhere near enough. What about you, Ryosuke? My name is Ryosuke. I hate studying, so I'm at a high school that gives you full marks just for writing your name. My mom died when I was 10, and I've lived with my dad ever since. Oh yeah, it's almost summer vacation. Hey, let's go somewhere during summer vacation! Ooh, sounds good. Let's make a ton of fun memories! Uh, how much can everyone spend? Uh, I can do... And? What about you, Ryosuke? What? What are you saying what for? We're talking about how much money we can pull together so we can go on vacation. Yeah, you're the one working all the time. Sorry, I have my part-time job all summer, and I get my allowance today, so I've got to go home early. If he's going home early just to get his allowance, does that mean he gets a ton of it? Ah, uh, Ryosuke is so mysterious. Ah, uh, he's so cool. I'm home. Ah, uh, you're late. All right, it's time for the allowance given every 10 days. And my dad made me sit and held out his hand to me. I put a hundred dollars on his outstretched hand. All right, all right. I knew you could do it if you tried. Okay, now I'm going to double this allowance. See ya. My dad is a deadbeat. We live together, but we never talk. And the only time he talks to me is when he gets his allowance. And the one who pays is me. So this is what they mean by losing the parent lottery. And since I've lost, my life is awful. I don't need chopsticks. I need seven forks, five straws, use two bags, and I'm paying cash. Oh, oh, um, uh, we're not listening. <laughs> what a useless employee. I'm never coming here again. Uh, Ryosuke, I think you should be more friendly. Oh. Just, uh, look at him. Hello. Our freshly fried money chicken is hot and delicious. Woo! That guy is our new employee, Keita. Keita, you're always smiling at customers. It's really amazing. Really? I'm just having fun, so it looks that way. What? What's fun about working? <laughs> Getting to challenge myself, I guess. I didn't really understand, but Keita looked to be shining brightly. Oh yeah, why don't you join me? Today is a tissue marketing job. Okay, uh, please check out Money Money English. Oh no. Oh, can you speak English? Oh, um, oh my god, no, no, no English! Ah. Oh. 
For some reason, I decided to try a lot of part-time jobs with Keita's introduction. Waiter, cleaning crew, even something rare like lining up for someone who wanted to buy a new game. While I was reveling in all the different jobs there were that summer vacation... Huh? Is that dad over there? Who is that gorgeous woman? I saw my dad walking with a gorgeous woman with a great body. Oh gosh, I want to hang out with her too. I see. So dad is using my money to hang out with a woman like that. With mom dead, this is what he's doing. He's the worst. I will never be like him. It's done. What do you think, Keita? Mm, gosh, it's done just right. Mm, I can't believe it's the first time you made this. Really? I think this is the first time someone has complimented me that much. Thanks to Keita, I was able to try a lot of part-time jobs, but I think this takoyaki restaurant is the most fun. Oh yeah, a long time ago, at home, we used to... Here you go! Takoyaki with cheese! When mom was alive, we used to eat takoyaki a lot together. Mom was so nice, but because of dad... Hey, you need to work more! This isn't enough money! This isn't enough to feed that brat! Okay, okay. I'll work more, so please, give Ryosuke food. But mom's body couldn't handle the overwork, and she died. My dad is living off of her life insurance money. Alright, it's allowance time. You get negative hundred dollars. Okay. My classmates get an allowance and get to have fun but I work as hard as I can, only to have my hard-earned money taken away. I can't do this anymore. I'll spend this in a meaningful way. <laughs> I don't want to live here anymore. Is there any way I can get out of here? But then, I thought of a solution. I want to start a takoyaki restaurant. Oh? Huh? That's amazing! But I don't know how to get started. I want to leave my house, so I want to do it somewhere far away. But I feel like if I start somewhere where I don't know anyone, I'll fail. Then why don't you have a mobile restaurant? That's it! I decided to start a mobile restaurant with a traveling takoyaki restaurant as the concept. Mobile sales costs a lot of money. I have some savings, but it's nowhere near enough. <sighs> what should I do? process by which broadcasting your activities and dreams through the internet, people who want to support you will give you money. Oh, that's it! I'll use crowdfunding! I started a donation page while I was struggling to gather funds. Alright! We've reached $10,000! I'm so happy that so many people are supporting me. Huh? What is this? For some reason, the donated money had been withdrawn. <laughs> Too bad. I knew you were sneaking around plotting something. This money will be my bonus. I was so shocked, I had no words. You want to start a business once you graduate high school? <laughs> no way you can do that. My dad took my funds, and I had no choice but to shut down my crowdfunding page. Everyone on the internet was mad at me. Everyone thought that they were donating to my dream. But because I had quit trying to open a restaurant, they thought I had taken the money and ran. Every day, I sent emails telling everyone I promised I would pay them back. Pfft, <laughs> you don't need dreams or goals. I knew it. Being born with this type of a parent means I'll never succeed. Even after my dreams were crushed, I felt better only when I was working with Bubbly Keita. So I kept doing a myriad of part-time jobs. And one day, that's the gorgeous girl who was with my dad. I wonder what kind of person she is. I was curious, so I was following her. Huh, look out! A car suddenly ran up into the sidewalk. I moved without thinking and protected her. <laughs> my body hurts. Was I run over? Am I going to die? I didn't know why I saved her. While I was thinking that, I lost consciousness. Where am I? Good. You're awake. This is all my fault. I'm sorry. I was in the hospital. Next to me was the gorgeous woman I saved. Uh, it's okay. And it's not your fault. 
<laughs> that was obviously the car's fault. No, that's why it's my fault. Uh huh? I have two personas. And the gorgeous woman told me her situation. Uh, I see. Then, do you want to be brave and fight with me? I think I asked her this because she had the same problem that I did. I've never really seen Kana talking. Huh? She's just really mysterious. I've always avoided getting involved with other people. But I have a place where I feel at home. <sighs> Alright, today's video is up. I'm excited. I'm gaining followers little by little. I am a net idol. On the internet, people don't care where you're from, how you were raised, and just look at you. But because of that, when they find out who the real me is, I'm scared how they will react. I'm looking for any questions or advice you want. <sighs> I had a fight with my parents. What should I do? Uh, this is the hardest question to answer for me. I've always avoided talking about my parents. So that day, when I told Ryosuke about my parents, I felt so much better. I want to change, especially since he's supporting me. I guess just be honest and apologize. <clears throat> I have something important to tell you all today. My parents are high-ranking members of the Yakuza. Kana was trying to cut ties with her parents. And because of it, she was facing a lot of danger. She says that's why she was almost run over by a car. How awful. And her second persona was the net idol. She didn't want to ruin her image as a net idol, so she was doing whatever she could to hide her parents' profession. But... Hey, aren't you the internet idol Kana? Weren't you just talking to some bad people? I can't believe my dad saw Kana with some Yakuza by accident was following her ever since. What an awful person. But she was brave and told the whole world the truth because I thought that was the right thing to do. Kana, as you become more and more famous as an internet idol, someone is bound to find out the truth. You should believe in your fans and just be honest. I'll do whatever I can to help you. <sighs> Thank you. Six months later. Hey, we've almost reached 10 million views. Oh my gosh. It's all thanks to you! No, no. It's because you're working hard. Now that I've graduated high school, I'm working as Kana's manager. And she's been steadily gaining fans. With this income, I've been able to pay my crowdfunding donors back. And my dad. Today, I want to talk about my past life while taking a walk through town. Oh, uh, hey. Is that you, Kana? Ah, uh, are you really okay being mean to me? I'm gonna tell everyone your secret. Uh, hey, sorry, I'm busy right now. He didn't know that Kana had told everyone her secret herself and had appeared in her livestream. It's no use. What are you doing here? Here, take a look at the comments. Uh, so this is his dad. God, I can't believe he made it with him as his father. I can't believe he's a parent. Even though they both didn't win the parent lottery, their lives are still great. Just get out of their way. What? When did you get like this? Even though we share DNA, I guess he never thought his son would be a MoneyTube star. Afterwards, he decided to start his own MoneyTube channel, but of course it flopped. He ran out of money and is being chased by loan sharks. Now his life is full of things he needs to run away from. Ooh, Ryosuke! Let's ride that! Oh, sounds good! We could make a video out of it! Ooh, hey! Today we're here just for fun! Kana and I aren't just co-workers. She really means a lot to me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ryosuke! Long time no see! Hey, Keita! What a coincidence! I can't believe you're that famous Kana's manager! I knew you would make it big! It's all thanks to you! I had given up on my life because of my circumstances, but Keita changed that when he showed me a new world. 
I really am grateful. Me too! I'm just glad I was able to help you out. Our lives had only just begun. Hey, you! See that fashionable lady over there? Go tell her to show you her panties. Uh, huh? I can't say that. Something like that's just a greeting for us guys. Come on, get over there! Uh, excuse me, uh, can you... Yes? Pants... Huh? What? Uh, it's nothing! I'm so sorry! What the hell? You're such a coward! You can't even say, show me your panties! God, what a sad excuse for a guy! Oh, morning, Kaoru! I'm Kaoru, a high school sophomore. Uh, morning! My hobby is drawing comics, but... Hey, Kaoru! Hurry up and do it already! Sorry, I'm a little busy. I want to finish this comic for the competition next month. There's someone who keeps on bothering me. Go ask a girl to show you that. Oh, please, I'll do anything else you tell me to. He's Suguru. Every day, as soon as he arrives at school, he'll come over and give me the same order. Ah! Uh, my manga! No, your place. My word is absolute. I, I get it, I get it, so stop. Because of him, my school life is a mess. I'm treated as a freak by all the girls. I'm begging you, just give me a more normal order. Kaoru! Is it true? You asked my classmate whether you could see her underwear? That's horrible! If people find out I'm your sister, I won't be able to show my face in school anymore! Uh, no, that's because... All of this started in elementary school. Hey! Let's all play tag today, huh? Just because you're fast. We should do something different once in a while. Shut up! I said we're playing tag, so we're gonna play tag! I was invincible back then. As everyone's leader, my word was absolute. So, Kaoru's it this time! Huh? No way! I was it yesterday too! <laughs> yesterday, today, or tomorrow, you'll always be it! Look, I can see everything! Wow, really? Boys are the worst! Uh, I, I can't believe you guys, this is nothing to... Uh, uh. Huh? Suguru? Why did he faint? I'll never forget the mocking stares of everyone at that time. That day, my rule came to an end. <laughs> He always talks so big, but to think he'd faint just from that? What a joke! While I was crying, a girl came over and talked to me. D damn it! Why did I... Are you okay? Uh, it's all the panties' fault! Huh? What happened? <laughs> I can't tell her I lost consciousness after seeing a girl's... You know what? That's just embarrassing! Oh! You know us, guys! There are times we have to push through even though we know we've already lost! Huh? Well, you can use this if you want. Having went from the leader of the class to a total laughingstock in one moment, this girl who offered me a helping hand was like an angel. Oh. Okay. Let's play together next time. Anyway, the reason why I can't get a girlfriend now must be because I'm traumatized by girls' panties. That's why I have to gain immunity against them. And one day... You... You're from back then. Huh? Could you be... That boy crying in the park? Will you please go out with me? No way! Such a cool guy. I'll date the girl who gave me the cooling patch that day. So, because of that, there'll be lots of students from other schools at the school festival tomorrow. That's our chance. Even then, how would we get any girl to show it to us? I guess we just have to get good at flirting. Uh, flirting? I've never tried. That's it. Why don't you teach us how? You seem like you know what you're doing. 
Huh? Seriously? That's what they're thinking? I haven't done anything like flirting before. About that, I know a great way to go about it. Really? Um, I mean, yeah. Heh, <laughs> it's probably nothing impressive, but we'll hear you out. I'm good at drawing, so we can get them to our classroom by offering to draw their portraits. You can ask them after you've gotten to know them better. Uh, are you a genius? Ah, that's actually not a bad idea for him. Right, let's do it. You took the words right out of my mouth. During the sports festival, Suguru was more fired up than usual. Right, all of you, go and get at least 10 girls. No free time until you bring them over. Seriously? I guess we just have to do it. With this, we commence the world's most hopeless pickup plan. Oh, I mean, we're here. But what do we do now? <laughs> it's easy to talk about flirting, but actually doing it is really stressful. Takoyaki! How about some takoyaki? Oh, I see you eyeing these, miss. Feel like a takoyaki kiss? Whoa, whoa, look at that. The easy conversation. He moves like the spring water luring women in. He's definitely a master of flirting. But really, let's get him to teach us how to pick up girls. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Please, Please teach, teach us how to flirt. flirt. That's all the pointers I can give. The rest is up to you. It's all good. If you do what I said, it'll definitely go well. Thank you so much, Maestro. Master Keita, you're a real man. My classmates, after being taught by this random guy called Keita, were overflowing with confidence. But... Well then, I'll go first. Yeah, go for it. Will it go as well as they think? Uh, um... Would you like to drink some drinks? I mean, Japanese tea with me? Huh? What's he saying? Oh, he's creepy. Let's go over there. D d d don't worry about it. It can't work out every time. Our future rests in your hands, guys. I'll go next. Uh, excuse me. Yes? If you want, I can show you around. Oh no, I bit my tongue. This isn't gonna work. I want to run away. Um, sure, if you don't mind. Uh, huh? Really? Yes! Go me! Uh, this is impossible for me. Listen up. There are times us guys have to keep fighting, especially in moments of despair. That moment is now. Go get him! Um, greetings, beautiful ladies. We're drawing portraits in our classroom. They told me not to come back without any customers. Can you help me? Oh, you're such a cutie. They didn't need to be so mean to you. I'll let you draw as many portraits as you want. S seriously I'm so happy. It's this way. W why just me? In this manner, they brought more and more girls over. I didn't think they'd actually manage to get so many. I was busier than I thought. Wow, amazing! You're really good at this. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, hurry up and ask them. Huh? Really? Are you kidding? That's the whole purpose of this. Okay, I got it. Uh, actually... We wanted to draw your panties, too. Uh, huh? What a waste of a cute face. Let's go. Hey, what's the meaning of this? They're leaving! Uh, of course they are! After I went to all that trouble getting them here, too. If only you didn't make me say that. Ah, don't be stupid. We did this to see their panties. There's no point if they don't let us. I wonder what on earth caused this obsession with panties. Ah, uh, well, shit! Since it's come to this... Kaoru, try asking that ugly glasses girl to show you her panties. Huh? Why don't you ask yourself? Huh? What did you say? Uh, alright, I get it. Caving to Suguru's overwhelming pressure, I was forced to accept my fate. In the end, I was unable to defy Suguru. 
Having no choice, I offered a drawing to the girl he pointed out. Wow, this is me? Incredible! You're a great artist! Really? Thank you. Um, I know this is a really strange request, but may I see your panties? I finally had to say it. Uh, this will definitely make things awkward. Okay. Huh? Her unexpected answer drew a funny sound from me. Is tomorrow all right? Huh? Let's meet at 7 p.m. in the gym storage room. I'll show it to you then. Huh? My mind couldn't catch up with this even more unforeseen development. In the past, I was knocked out at level one. Finally, the time has come for us to face off again. I'm going to conquer my phobia and go out with the girl who gave me the cooling patch. <sighs> it's seven now, right? Yeah. It's seven. She's not here. But she didn't show up even after the promised time. No, this might actually be better. But right now, I'm not mentally prepared to confront. <sighs> I'm sorry for being late. Who's that? Huh? Oh, I guess you don't recognize me in these clothes. You drew a portrait for me yesterday. See? I'm actually working as a model. I'm a little late today because of my job. Huh? That face. Could you be that girl from long ago who gave me a cooling patch when I was crying in the park? Oh, you remember? I felt sorry for you. <laughs> Have you conquered your fear? Huh? She knows. Yep. It became a phobia for you, right? To think she knows everything. The important thing isn't what's happened in the past. It's the fact that I've matured compared to that time. Kaoru, you can start drawing. Uh, then, if you don't mind. It's definitely surprising that my angel already knows the truth of what happened. But if I think about it, she came here and showed us her panties just to help me. Now's the time to show her my manliness. Don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run away. I will see that pair of panties. If I just raise my head, my angel's panties are right in front of me. Uh, uh, hey! Hmm? I, I understand your feelings. I like you too! Uh, huh? What are you talking about? The one I like is Kodu. Huh? I let him draw my panties because he said he wanted to. Um, are you okay? You're trembling. <sighs> I'm fine. Yeah. After that, with a dumbstruck expression on his face, Suguru lost consciousness for a while. I thought my school life would always be a lost cause as long as Suguru was around. Focus on me, okay? But when I think that I only had this encounter because of Suguru, his dumb face somehow seems more likable. Ah! But she's supposed to be my girlfriend! Ah! Back in elementary school, I was used by the neighborhood thugs to experiment with coke and mentos. The experience changed me. Wow, you are beautiful and competent. We're glad to have you here. Oh, no, I only succeed thanks to the support I get from others. My name is Mari. I work for a lingerie manufacturer. Oh, you're humble to top it off. What do you not have? <laughs> As you can see, my bosses are kind to me and I get asked out quite often, but I will likely never experience a proper relationship. This is why I think so. Mari, I will always love you. If that's true, I have a favor to ask you. Oh, what is it? If you really love me, can you mix Mentos and Coke on here? Huh? I don't think I will believe you until you do that for me. Uh, let's break up. Even though many guys desperately want to date me, they all leave in the end. Marisan, I brought the documents you asked for. Huh. You did a great job with this. Thank you. I'm glad I could be of help, Senpai. Marisan is always so beautiful. Hey, Suichi. Don't even think about it. What? What are you talking about? 
All of my colleagues try to get in the way of me making a move on Marisan. I bet they're jealous, but I'm not giving up. Finally, a dinner date with Mari Senpai. I like you. Please go out with me. Ah, uh, that is so sweet. Thank you, but you are too pure. I don't think you have what it takes to handle me. Everybody reacts that way whenever I say that, but they all leave me in the end. That's why I have to say I'm sorry. You... you don't know that! A few days later, my colleagues took me out for some drinks. It was a comfort party to make me feel better. Oh, cheer up, man. It wasn't such a bad thing, being dumped by her. I second that. I told you you shouldn't go for her. Everybody tells me that. Please tell me why. She's, uh... Huh? Mentos and Coke? I couldn't believe what I heard. They told me Mari Senpai's biggest secret. But... <sighs> so this is what a company is like in the city. I wonder how long I'll last here. Hey, you there. Um, yes? If Mari Senpai wasn't there that day, I don't think I would be the person I am today. You don't have to be so scared. If there's anything you need, you can ask me, okay? Why won't you give up? You can't show up at my place like this! I can't let go, just like that. I was curious about her secret. I needed to know what made her like that. Wow, you're the first person to ask me questions after hearing my big secret. Fine, I'll tell you. Back in elementary school, the neighborhood thugs used to experiment with Mentos and Coke in my underwear. I guess that kinda screwed me up. That's... unforgivable. Why would they do something so horrible? Meh, I have no idea. There were a lot of them at first, but most of them stopped coming after the first few times. But this guy called Kenya stayed to watch me until the end every time. I didn't know how to process what she told me. She must have been deeply traumatized by her past. I couldn't forgive the Kenya guy, so I took action. His name is Kenya, right? I'm going to find this guy. He needs to explain why he did it. Uh, wait, but it happened over 15 years ago. I hired a detective to search for him, but it was the proper price to pay for love. Finally, I found him. These are the papers the detective I hired sent to me. I found out where Kenya was and where he worked. Eh? This is what he looks like now. I guess he ended up staying in the area. Marisan, if you aren't ready to meet him in person, I can go alone. Don't worry. I'm okay. I want to go. I have questions too. Kenya worked at a construction site during the day. Hey, you! Over there! We need to ask you something! <sighs> what is it? I'm in the middle of working. Hey, you. I think I've seen you somewhere before. Oh, you. Wow, it's been a while, huh? Do you miss our experiments? Cut it out! That's what we're here to talk about! I won't let you touch a hair on Marisan's head! <sighs> Can't you see I'm busy? Get lost. We also found out that... I need to ask you a few questions. <sighs> I'm working at the moment. Get out of my way. However, he wouldn't give us any of his time. Huh, so he has multiple jobs that he's juggling daily. He brought it upon himself. A guy like him doesn't deserve to have a decent job. He deserves it all. Hey, those two have been waiting for you outside a store for a while now, Kenya. Do you know either of them? I briefly encountered one of them previously. That's all. We don't have that many customers right now. You should take a break since you work too hard. <sighs> okay, thanks. We waited a long time until the guy who traumatized Mari-senpai came out of the store. Don't be scared. You have to protect Mari-senpai at all costs. <sighs> so, what do you want? Hey, why did you humiliate and hurt Mari-san as you did 15 years ago? <laughs> Is this about the Mentos and Coke? I have no idea. Why did you do that? I've always wanted to ask you. Huh? What? I've always wanted to ask you, too. Why did you let me do it? My father used to own a factory. It wasn't big, but we were proud when it became famous for its original methods. 
Dad, this is great. I heard you're going to be working with the famous Sendo group. I have no idea what you'll be doing, but I'm impressed. Ah, believe me, I'm the one who's surprised. Who would have thought Gen- Who would have thought Sendo group would ask me to work with them? However, life never goes as planned. Teaming up with Sendo group turned out to be the end of my father's factory. They stole a lot of my father's original methods. They then exterminated a contract once they were done mastering everything. I am such an idiot. Things never happen for no reason. I should have realized. Dad, you are not an idiot. All you did was do your best for the factory and its employees. The factory had to shut down soon after. It happened only a year after Sendo Group exterminated their contract with us. My father was skilled, but he was too kind-hearted. In the end, that was why he failed. Sendo Group is to blame for all of this. It's their fault. This is all their fault! I couldn't forgive them. I learned soon after that the president of Sendo Group lived in the neighborhood. Mani Chu. That's right by my place. Hmm, he has a daughter. Maybe I can use her for revenge. I knew nothing I could do would change my family situation, but I couldn't just sit back and watch. I called Mari to a park in the neighborhood. Hmm, what should I do with her? So, you're the guy who wanted to see me? Yes, I am. Can you mix these and pour them on me? What? Wait, she's holding Mentos and Coke! Why is she asking us to do such a thing? She must be a lunatic or something. Don't do this! You'll get in trouble for sure! But she's the one asking us to do it! Wait, who are you? How? No! Uh, Kenya, he really did it! My gosh! I didn't expect any less from him! <laughs> it didn't solve any of my problems, but I went home that day satisfied with her humiliation. The next day, something unexpected happened. Hey, the girl from yesterday, she's here again. She has Mentos and Coke again. What does she want from us? <laughs> um, um, we're doing it again today, right? I appeared again and stood before him. Uh, she appeared again and stood before me. Okay, guys, come turn in your homework one by one. Um, excuse me, I forgot mine. I didn't have any friends. My teacher, my classmates, they all treated me with kid gloves. They all knew my father was the president of Sendo Group. They were trying to avoid upsetting me. I'm home. Daddy was always working. I rarely got to see him. I didn't have a mother. She left my dad for somebody else right after I was born. All I had was a housekeeper who took care of me. I appreciate everything you do for me. I'm just doing my job. Uh, the housekeeper was like a robot. She never smiled at me once. I was all alone. Nobody wanted me to exist until that day. Oh my gosh! When was the last time somebody tried to talk to me? I was scared to meet the person who left me the letter, but at the same time, I wanted to catch his attention. I wanted him to keep thinking about me. I thought about it hard. Please, use this on me. I have a bad feeling about her. She's a freak. Don't you think we should stop meeting up with her? Shut up. We're doing it again. Um, um, are we? You're here again? Um, um. Yeah, I know why you're here. Huh. Huh? Wait, what the? I only came here to punish the guy for traumatizing Marisan and ruining her life. But he's the good guy. <sighs> I understand that you wanted to feel connected to people, but I don't get why it had to be with Mentos and Coke. Would you have hung out with me if I was a regular girl? If I asked you to play with me? I did the best I could at the time. I had no idea how I would keep an older guy's attention on me. Mentos and Coke experiments were a huge thing back then. Well, I guess you have a point. Um, let me ask you now. Why did you put up with me doing that every day? I had quite some time on my hands. 
Chip, liar. So, Kenya wasn't a bad guy. He meant a lot to her back in the day. <sighs> Whatever. Leave me alone now. I can't stand up to your father without being on a level playing field. I'm going to make a larger company than him, without using the dirty methods he used. I'll show him I'm better than him. So that's why he is working so hard to save up money. Fine. Then let me work there too. What? Kenya. You're... my first love. You are the one who saved me from my empty world. I know you reached out to me in hopes of getting revenge for your father, but... You decided to stay with me after finding out how alone I was. An enemy's enemy is an ally. I hated your father, and you were a victim too. I realized how lonely you must have been after seeing you have so much fun with us. I couldn't push you away after seeing that. You have no idea how much you helped me. Now it's my turn. I want to be the one to help you, Kenya. Mari, thanks. That means a lot. I have a feeling that Kenya is the only one who will fulfill my needs. I'm relying on you, Mari. Let's do our best to make the company a success. Okay. Wait a second. I will work with you guys too. Huh? I'm not giving up on Mari-san. I want to work at the same company as her. You might be her first love, but I don't intend on losing her to you. <laughs> I'm counting on you too. Kenya, you have no idea how good Shuichi is. And so, in the end... The three of us decided to build up a company together. We'll make sure to succeed. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!